Hi loyal subscribers, got another video for you here once again. This time it's a movie review on a movie I saw a month ago, but um, I figured I'd get the review to you guys because I really enjoyed it. And that movie is Finding Dory. Thought I would do this to uh, show that on this channel I'm going to review more than the blockbusters, superhero movies, and or action films. I do love animated movies and uh, shoot I love animated movies as much as the next guy. They're some of my favorite. Disney movies have for sure impacted my life and that's why I think here soon I'm just going to create a playlist where I review all my favorite Disney movies. But for the time being, I'm going to review Finding Dory, and then up next I'm going to review Zootopia, another recent movie I saw that I thought was really good. But anyway, moving along to Finding Dory, this is a sequel to uh, Finding Nemo that came out when I was like 8, and <laughs> now I'm 21, so yeah, a huge difference, but boy, Pixar, they know what they're doing, because They've made tons of films that I love, from Toy Story, to Ratatouille, to The Incredibles, to Monsters, Inc., to Up. There really isn't a movie they made that disappointed me, except for Cars 2, and kind of Brave. But other than that, I normally tend to love Pixar movies. And uh, anyway, uh, this is continuing on the story of Finding Nemo, which I was worried the movie was going to rehash the plot of the first film. But gonna say this right now this film is more about the destination rather than the, the journey that was in Finding Nemo and um, anyway uh, yeah this film didn't rehash the plot of the first film and it was also more about family and finding yourself and just just you know staying true to your family and all that because I felt like the themes to Finding Nemo were a lot different than that and I gotta give great credit to the director Andrew Stanton and all the cast and crew behind this film and uh, there was a bunch of new characters in this film that were also really awesome so I'm just gonna show them off real, here real quick here's the octopus or septopus because he lost a tentacle named Hank who can camouflage and he camouflages with anything and I heard in interviews he was the hardest character to animate in this movie and uh, I can see why he definitely is probably a character that took hours upon hours to animate and then another character too is uh, Dory's friend because uh, um, there's a reveal in the film I'm not gonna spoil but we basically get to meet some of Dory's friends and her parents this is her friend uh, it was a whale shark, um, oh, what was her name, gosh dang it, well anyway, I may not remember her name, but uh, that was her friend, Destiny, that was her name, Destiny, yeah, that was her name, and uh, these are her parents, and then after her parents, even though they weren't in the film very much, they probably had one of the funniest and most memorable scenes in the film, so I can't really make this review without referencing these two seals. <laughs> and then the one on the left is Gerald. Um, they didn't say their names, but one of them is voiced by Idris Elba, and they are so funny because they're all perched up on their rock, and uh, <laughs> they're always trying to kick Gerald off because Gerald keeps wanting to get on top of it, and <laughs> this has spawned countless memes, and... This is definitely the scene that sticks out in my mind on this film. And uh, here, I'm going to show you all a clip of the scene. It's funny as heck. Out at any moment. Uh, my, don't you want it? funny they freaking just are all yelling at Gerald they're all trying to say don't you worry about one thing and then they're all like off 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 <laughs> boy I can think of tons of situations in my life where stuff like that has happened like the two seals right there <laughs> but yeah overall this film is what I want Disney sequels to do don't rehash the plot of the first film continue the story I mean I love original Pixar films as much as the next guy I really do like Ratatouille, Up, Wally, 
the original Cars and original Incredibles. And I am excited for that sequel, but um, that's a video for another time. And uh, just, yeah, overall, I love Pixar's movies. They're on a good run right now. And Inside Out, which I am going to review sometime. That's a review, which will be one to watch. But anyway, this movie just did everything I wanted it to do. And the funny thing about this movie was, was I didn't think I'd go see it. There were so many good movies out this summer. I thought Finding Dory was, was one I'd miss out on, but... Yeah, I can thank my grandma because um, she wanted to go see it. I let her choose because I hadn't seen a movie with her in a while. And this is what she chose. And great choice. This is definitely one of my favorite animated movies over the past couple of years. And uh, I sure hope it gets a nomination for, uh, for Best Animated Film. And I would have to give it five Durands. And uh, anyway... Um, just thought I would also say thanks for all your support, you guys. I love you all. You are all awesome. Like this video if you like it. Comment. Subscribe for some more awesome videos. Alright. Peace.